For ages, folks in science have argued about what came before the Big Bang. It's not just about figuring out the universe, it questions how much we can even know. Imagine standing at the edge of everything, wondering what was there before our universe popped into existence. The Big Bang is when time, space, and everything we know started. But was there something before that? Maybe just nothingness, a silence before the explosion? Or something even weirder before time itself? Science is taking us on a wild ride past the universe's start. Brian Cox, known for his wonders of the universe, thinks something wild might have been around before the Big Bang. He wants us to rethink reality and existence. We'll look at the science, theories, and crazy secrets that might tell us what was there before everything. We're talking about stuff like godly creation, quantum changes, dark energy, and even other universes. The answers might shock you, but they could also give you a new view of our place in the cosmos. Get ready to jump into a world beyond imagination, where mysteries still hang around, leaving scientists puzzled. We're going to check out what came before the Big Bang and why these ideas mess with everything we thought we knew. To get what might have been before the Big Bang, we need to understand what it actually was. Was the Big Bang, as scientists say, the moment the universe got super hot and dense, expanding fast to create all the stuff, energy, and forces? Looking at the night sky, we see proof of this hot start, with galaxies moving away from a center point. But why did it happen? Was there a time before this hot, dense beginning? Cosmic inflation theory says there was a before, and it wasn't empty or quiet. It says that before the Big Bang, the universe was cold and vacant, like a huge vacuum. But not utterly vacant, just just full of energy that drove the fast expansion of space. This expansion, called inflation, happened super fast. It set the stage for everything that followed. In a fraction of a second, it grew at crazy rates until it slowed down and the energy turned into matter, particles, and the forces we know as the Big Bang. But what was this energy? Why did it create the universe seemingly out of nowhere, and why did it stop? Scientists think this expansion made patches of the universe, each with its own Big Bang. Think of a fabric expanding, with tiny bubbles forming, each bubble being a universe, including ours. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, says there were countless Big Bangs and universes. Ours is just one of many. It messes with how we understand the universe and makes us wonder what else is out there. The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is just a theory, not a real thing. Even if you took away all the energy, particles, and radiation, it still wouldn't be truly vacant. Our universe has dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and forces. It's a complex package of something. Even if we imagine removing these things, the universe would still make new energy. This is baffling to scientists because it suggests real nothingness might be impossible in our universe. Space itself has rules and constants that stop it from being utterly vacant. Imagine making a region with nothing in it, no particles, radiation, or energy, except for quantum fields and constants. These would still exist, meaning this nothingness has properties. There's something called zero-point energy, the lowest possible energy state of quantum fields. Even in this state, particles can appear and disappear, creating activity even in empty space. This challenges what we call a true void and suggests that even before the Big Bang, there was something. Scientists are still trying to understand this. Maybe one of the most amazing ideas in cosmology is that development could be eternal. If inflation made our universe, maybe it keeps going forever. Brian Cox talks about a huge inflationary multiverse where universes are made and grow all the time. Imagine each Big Bang like a spark that starts another universe while inflation happens in other areas, making lots of other universes. This could theoretically go on forever. This idea of universes creating is fascinating, like a fractal, where each new universe might create its own Big Bang. Each universe is its own separate space, not affected by the others. It's both exciting and upsetting because it suggests a multiverse with no clear start or end. Imagine our universe as just a tiny piece in a big picture, always developing and making new universes. What if that's reality? Not a before or after, but a never-ending pattern of universes forming. How do we interpret void changes when we consider quantum field theory? 
This theory implies that the universe isn't just stuff floating in space, it's a web of energy fields filling the universe, interacting to make everything we see. These fields are like intangible seas, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when these fields are at their lowest energy level, the vacuum state, they're still active. Particles can appear and disappear in these fields, borrowing energy before returning it. This leads to virtual particles, things that exist for a moment and then vanish, leaving only a faint trace. The concept of virtual particles challenges the possibility of a true void. Imagine an empty universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are gone. Would you have totally void? According to quantum field theory, not even then. Even in a vacuum, fields stay active, sometimes creating temporary particles. This constant activity in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't follow our idea of emptiness. The fields and forces endure, filling the universe with subtle energy that stops the total nothing. This leads to, if fields create particles and particles create matter, might the actual universe have arisen from this nothingness filled with quantum fields? Dark energy is an odd force that's making our universe expand faster. But was it around before the Big Bang? Some think that dark energy today is a result of an energy field from before our universe was born. The characteristics of dark energy hint at a big secret force that might have existed in some form before the Big Bang. Some ideas say that dark energy, in a much stronger phase, might have controlled the inflationary step that caused fast expansion. The presence of dark energy suggests that even if our universe was emptied of all matter and radiation, this force would keep growing the surface of space-time. Could it have eventually formed the conditions that led to the birth of our universe? Could dark energy be the silent force behind inflation or even the original spark of our universe? As we explore this idea, we might find that dark energy is not just shaping our universe but is a key to unlocking the secrets of the multiverse itself. Cyclic cosmology offers another idea of the Big Bang as an ultimate beginning. This theory suggests that the universe goes through huge cycles of birth, death, and renewal. In this model, the Big Bang isn't a one-time event but is just part of a never-ending cycle where universes develop, collapse, and then start over again. This theory says that our universe might have been restored from the leftovers of a past universe. The process of compression and expansion in a cyclic pattern would mean there was never a real beginning but an eternal series of universes emerging, creating, and renewing themselves over and over. Cyclic cosmology raises questions as it suggests that time itself might repeat. If this theory is correct, it could mean that what existed before the Big Bang was just the universe in another form, falling to give birth to our current universe. For scientists, this theory answers questions of extreme origins, saying there's no clear beginning, the universe has always existed in some form. Gravitational waves are another concept that could show what existed before the Big Bang. Discovered in 2015, these waves are ripples in space-time caused by massive objects like black holes merging. These waves can travel far, carrying info about the happenings that created them. Could gravitational waves provide info about the birth of the universe? Physicists hope that gravitational waves from before the Big Bang may give insight into the state of the universe before inflation started. Gravitational waves from the early universe might leave clues to help understand if the Big Bang was truly the beginning or whether there were events before that we don't know yet. These waves could be traces left behind, and their presence could also hint at a complex structure beyond what we know. These weak signals might provide knowledge that could change our view of the world. They could show traces of a past universe or an event before the Big Bang. As scientists keep researching space, the question remains. What existed before the Big Bang? With current theories quantum mechanics, multiverses, and cosmic inflation, we seem close to showing the secrets of the universe's origins. While the answer is still out there, our understanding of what existed before the Big Bang keeps growing with each discovery. As we explore these theories, we can think about how they might fit together to show the big picture, the real nature of existence itself. But until then, we are left with mystery driving science and wonder into the unknown. Some scientists think that this expansion made spots of the universe, where each spot had its own Big Bang. Think of it like a fabric stretching, with tiny bubbles popping up, each bubble being its own universe. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, means there might be countless Big Bangs and universes out there. Ours is just one of many.
This seriously messes with how we understand the universe and makes us wonder what else is out there. Okay, so what about nothingness? We're talking about true, honest-to-goodness nothing. Even killing all of the energy, particles, and radiation wouldn't be real nothing. Our universe is full of dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces. Even if we took all that away, the universe would still make new kinds of energy. It's baffling because it suggests that true nothingness might be impossible to achieve. Space itself has rules that stop it from being completely empty. Imagine a place with literally nothing in it, no particles, no radiation, and negative energy. Except quantum fields and other constants would still be there. Even in that empty, particles can pop in and out of existence. This messes with our idea of a true void and suggests that even before the Big Bang, there was something. One wild idea is undying inflation. If inflation could make our universe, it could keep going forever. Brian Cox talks about a mega-inflationary multiverse where universes are constantly being made. Imagine each Big Bang lighting up another universe, while inflation keeps going in different spots, making tons of new universes. This might go on forever. This leads to the idea of a fractal universe, where each new universe can make its own Big Bang. Each universe is an independent space, unaffected by the others. For scientists, this is super interesting because it suggests a multiverse with no clear beginning or end. Our universe might just be a tiny part of a huge system that's always growing and making new universes. When we consider quantum field theory, it changes how we see nothingness. This theory says the universe isn't just stuff floating in space, it's a web of energy fields that fill the universe and make everything we see. These fields are like seas, with particles acting like waves. Even when the fields have very little energy, particles can still pop up and disappear. This leads to the idea of virtual particles, stuff that exists for a split second. So, imagine an empty universe where you take away all matter, radiation, and energy. Is it really nothing? No way. Even in a vacuum, fields would stay active. This constant activity messes with our idea of emptiness. The fields and forces keep the universe from being truly empty. If fields make particles, and particles make matter, could the universe have come from this nothingness filled with quantum fields? Strange to think about. Dark energy is a strange force that makes our universe expand faster. Did it exist before the Big Bang? Some think that dark energy is left over from before our universe. It's like some secret force that might have been around in some form before the Big Bang. The existence of dark energy suggests that even if our universe were completely empty, this force would still be there. Could it have made the conditions that led to the birth of our universe? Could dark energy be the reason for inflation or maybe even the true start of our universe? As we look into this, we see that dark energy might not just shape our universe, but it might unlock the multiverse itself. Then there's this other idea, cyclic cosmology. It suggests that the Big Bang wasn't the start. Maybe the universe goes through cycles of birth, death, and renewal. In this model, the Big Bang is part of an undying cycle where universes grow, fall apart, and start again. So, our universe could have been born from the remains of a past universe. This means there was never a true start, just a series of universes that keep coming back. Cyclic cosmology is a lot to take in because it suggests that time itself might repeat rather than just move forward. If that's true, then what came before the Big Bang was just another form of the universe that died to give birth to ours. This gives a satisfying answer to where everything came from, there's no real beginning, the universe has always existed in some form. Gravitational waves are another interesting idea that can shed light on what existed before the Big Bang. Discovered in 2015, these waves are ripples in spacetime. They're caused by huge objects, like black holes and neutron stars. Since they travel long distances, they can carry information about the events that made them. Could gravitational waves tell us about the birth of the universe? It's certainly possible. Some physicists think that gravitational waves from before the Big Bang might tell us what the universe was like before inflation. Gravitational waves from that early time might offer clues to show if the Big Bang was really the start or if there were other cosmic events. These faint signals are the bits of knowledge that could change how we see the world. Just as we figured out the Big Bang start, 
What if they show us a past universe or an event that happened before the Big Bang? As scientists keep examining the deep reaches of space, the question remains, what existed before the Big Bang? Right now theories are leaning toward quantum mechanics, multiverses, and cosmic inflation. It's possible that we are closer than ever to show the mysteries of the universe's origin. Our understanding of what existed before the Big Bang keeps growing with each discovery. As we explore these theories, we can think about how they might fit together to show the big picture of what existence really is. But until then, we are left with the mystery driving science and wonder into the unknown.